Ebert from Suwannee, Georgia. Evans flicks it up for Eisen. Eisen tripped up, another foul. Yeah, just a savvy move there from Eisen, just getting her body in between uh, the defender and the ball, drawing contact there to set up another set piece for the Bears, which they're very dangerous on. Pavel will take the free kick for the Bears. Has one goal, one assist, and eight shots on the year for Mercer. Two players in the wall, Pavel's kick. Weaver came out, Whiteley got a touch on it. The Paladins will send it away. Really dangerous ball from Pavel there. Weaver just gets there first. Ball looked to drop for Sierra Whiteley, but she wasn't able to get enough on it to get something on target. But again, another really good opportunity from the Bears off of a set piece. Eisen. Whiteley loops it over to Evans on the right side. Evans falls over, she wasn't tripped, just stumbled there. Yeah, just lost her footing there, trying to explode and get around the end for, for a service into the box. Weaver on the goal kick. Evans got a touch on it. Now it's up to Evans. Hallberg passes it over on the near side. Gutierrez on the left wing. As you can see, Gutierrez looking for that ball in behind there, just didn't have the run from Anderson that she was expecting. But every time Furman gets the ball, they're looking to go fast. They want to play in behind. They want to play over the top. They want to use their athleticism. You said especially on the left side with Grace. Ball played up for Evans. Eisen has it up top. Eisen trying to play it in for sure. It's cleared away. Now the Paladins working forward. Baker called offsides. Baker just a little bit too quick on that one, but a great win in the midfield from, from Riley to, to, to spring the attack forward. Furman looking very dangerous when they turn the ball over at midfield. Harges sending the free kick away. Zoller with the interception. Mercer moving forward into their attack. What was intended for Buchanan on the left side. It's a Paladin throw in. Mercer, I still think, trying to find their footing here when they get on the ball, how they want to get forward. Just a few loose passes that have given the ball back to Furman, but uh, defensively, they've, they've looked very solid. Whiteley turns it midfield. Eisen playing it in for Zoller. Sure keeps it alive for Mercer. Evans making a run into the 18, cuts it back, has it on her left foot, fires a shot. Weaver falls on it. Very dangerous attack. And the refs called a penalty. The well, Jared, we got to check this one out again. So Evans cuts in, she gets the shot off, but the follow through is what gets her. You don't see a ref usually call it if she's able to get the shot off. Uh, so that's a little bit of a surprise. And as you can imagine, the Furman fans are not too happy about it. There definitely was contact on the follow through. But she was able to get a good clean shot off. Another look at it here. Gets the shot off. There definitely is contact. But like I said, you just normally don't see the referee call it if she's able to get the shot off, even though it was a, a, a hard tackle that uh, initiated contact and Evans is still down. 
but we will have a penalty upcoming here. Tony Economopoulos for Mercer has been incredibly successful. His team is set to take a PK here. Coach Economopoulos has a 56, 36, and 13 overall record at Mercer. It's the best winning percentage in program history. And also, under Coach Economopoulos, Mercer's recorded more wins than any other NCAA Division I women's soccer team in Georgia. It's the most successful program in the States. Evans has helped off. It's definitely something you don't want to see if you're the Mercer Bears. Evans being helped off, but at least she's walking. But uh, hopefully she will be back not only in this game, but uh, moving forward in the tournament play. She's such an important piece for them in the attack. We wish her the best. We hope to see her back in the game should she be able to return. Abigail Zoller will take the penalty for Mercer. Zoller has three goals and nine assists on the year. Our center referee, Jonathan Weiner, will get us ready to resume play as soon as Mercer brings in their substitution. A long wait for Zoller here. You never want that as a PK taker. Lots of time to think. Lots of time to think. Zoller strides forward, puts her leg into it. Mercer, a 2-0 lead. Yeah, she wasn't phased by the time there. Very clinical, sends the goalkeeper the wrong way, side foots it into the side netting there. Very clinical PK there from Zoller. Goal number four of the year for Zoller. Here's another look. Buried right in that right corner. Yeah, even if she guesses right, I think she's going to have a hard time saving that. Really good penalty from Zoller there. 